hello guys welcome back to coding cafe my name is Mohammed Ali and in this video we are going to add some validations so the first validation we will add on our cart activity here you can see we have this next button and the total price I mean when the cart is empty basically and a user placed the order the final order so at that case uh, first let me tell you there are two ways okay what we will be doing is that uh, once the user confirm their final order then we will basically restrict the user till the admin verify the order of that user I mean that final order of that user so the user can only uh, finalize the final order only one time which is you know that is within 24 hours normally the e-commerce companies I mean uh, confirm the order and the user received the order uh, at their home address so we will be doing it like that and uh, if you want I mean you can also extend this that is you can also allow a user to many orders I mean the user can place many orders the final order basically here you can see uh, the database if I show you we have this orders node okay so we are storing the orders uh, specifically for this user okay so that means that the user can have only one final order in which the user can uh, uh, purchase many orders I mean uh, 10 uh, products 20 products whatever the user want but we are just restricting the user to one final order so that the user can wait till this order is confirmed by the admin and once it is confirmed by the admin then the user can uh, move uh, ahead and purchase other products or you can say add products to the cart and uh, place another final order let's say if you want to purchase some other things so I hope you understand everything which I explained okay now we have to add a validation for that so and by the way you have already uh, I mean from here you can get the idea that is how you can extend this app you can also extend this app and you can add many features now to this app which is easy thing to do so first of all let's go to the cart activity and also we need to go to its xml file activity cart.xml in here we are going to add our text view so outside this relative layout we are going to add our text view match parent rep content text color color primary dark margin start 10 dp margin end 10 dp text alignment center center in vertical to true and now here we can add some text which will be congratulations your final order has been placed successfully soon you will receive your order at your doorstep I mean this is just text you can also write at your home address so you can see let's increase the text size to 20 dp and now let's set the visibility so the visibility for this will be gone and let's give ID to our this text view so the ID will be msg1 message1 one, okay this is the ID let's go to the cart activity and here we can say this is our text view so we can put a comma and we can say msg let's give proper name to it txt msg1 and come down here and here we have to copy paste this so that we can change it for our msg1 so we have txt msg1 text view and the id for this is msg1 
so here we need to create a method now so let's come down and at the bottom we can create a method by the name private void check order stat so we can say database reference order reference order the reference equals to firebase database dot get instance get reference dot child so here we are going to check for this order for the user who is online so that if the final order is already placed then we will restrict and tell the user that your order has been placed successfully and it will soon be verified by the admin so you can say orders which is our orders node dot child and here we need to get the user current online user dot get form so put semicolon here Orders reference dot add value event listener new value event listener. Make sure to put a semicolon here and here we can say if data snapshot dot exist. So here uh, I hope you remembered uh, we have a node, I mean a key value. First, let me write it so I will tell you which is basically the state that is this one okay state so it is not shipped so as i told you this will play an important role in this validation so here we can say shipping state equals to data snapshot dot child and that name is state dot get value dot to string also you we can get the username of that user so we can simply say username and what is the key name for it it is name so we can say name so here we can say if shipping state dot equals to shipped otherwise we can say else if uh, this state will be equals to not shipped okay which is the current state so let's copy paste this here and we can change this to not shipped first let me confirm yes it is not shipped okay so in that case what we will do so if the final order is shipped I mean if it is confirmed that is the user will receive it soon as it is confirmed by the admin then we have to display here the total price which is txt total dot set text we can display the total amount here so we can say overall total price or instead of that we have to retrieve this I mean the user already know what's the total price so what we are going to do is instead of uh, displaying the total amount here we are going to tell the user that is your order has been placed okay if you want you can also display the total amount here on this I mean alongside with that you can simply retrieve it from here okay you can see uh, in the orders and then phone I mean for this specific user there is a total amount so if you want you can retrieve it here just like we are retrieving username and state and you can display it here on this uh, text view but what I am going to do is here I am going to just tell the user okay by their name that is dear then this concatenation sign plus username then double quotation here you just uh, need to type this slash n and it will move to the next line and then we can say order is shipped successfully and also we can disable the recycler view because it is empty so we can say recycler view dot set visibility and it visibility of it will be gone then we have to visible the uh, txt message dot set visibility true visible 
and also we uh, the button which is the next button what is the name of it you have to disable or you can say invisible ma make this button invisible so here we can simply say next process button dot set visibility to gone and if you want you can also uh, display a simple toast message to the user and we can just tell the user that is you can purchase more products once your once you received your first order your first final order otherwise in the if the strat is not shipped in the other case we are going to tell the user that is the order is not shipped which means that it is not yet confirmed by the admin so we can just copy paste this thing from here and we can paste down here and uh, instead of this we can say sh shipping stat equals to not shipped which means that it is not yet the admin has not seen your order yet and if you want you can change the text message one text to something which you like okay and the rest of the thing will remain the same so yeah let's check this uh, if this is working or not so the gradle build is running now and once the app runs i mean till then let me tell you one thing let's copy this congratulations your final order has been placed successfully which you are displaying in both cases so if the order stat is shipped then in that case we have to the app is running now successfully first let me complete this what i am talking about so if the order stat is equals to ship then we have to set the text in that case we have to change this text somehow i mean little bit txt message one dot set text and plus i mean paste that text here sorry in the double quotation and uh, instead of this congratulations your final order has been shipped because now it is shipped so you can say shipped successfully soon you will receive your order at your doorstep and now come here and here we need to say congratulations your final order has been placed successfully soon and it here we can simply say soon it will be verified which means that the admin will verify it and uh, the admin will pack things and it will ship the order to the on the home address of a user so yeah i mean that's it now let's run it again so the app is running now successfully let's go to the cart and we have not called this method sorry for that we forgot to call this method so copy this check order stat and here we need to call it in our on start method so here we can say after the super dot on start pass that method i mean that name you can call it here like that now let's run the app again so the app is running now and let's go to the cart and here we go here you can see this shipping stat not shipped congratulations your final order has been placed successfully soon it will be verified and the next validation which we need to do is on our here i mean on the product details activity on this add to cart button so yeah let's do that also so we can now close this and let's go to the product details activity let's come here at the top and let's create another variable by the name stat equals to and uh, we can give it a default value normal and now here we have to check this so here we need to uh, create the same uh, method so we can just copy paste this for the time saving and we will do some modification in this method so this is our method let's copy it 
and now we can paste that here and here we need to check now something which is the if data snapshot exists cut this if else control x and remove this paste okay not this i mean let's uh, press control z okay let's go back and here we need to remove this username we do not need it we need the shipping stat only and the next thing is if it is shipped then what we will do remove this and also we need to remove this so here we need to say stat equals to orders placed and in the other case here we can say order shipped and the next one we have to order placed now we have to call this method and we can call it in our on start method so let's create that method which is our own start so you can say check order stat and here which is our add to cart button now we need to add some validation so if stat dot equals to order placed or stat dot equals to order shipped here we need to display a toast message to the user and we can tell the user that is you can purchase more product once your order is shipped or confirmed and change this to length long otherwise uh, in the next case which is here we can say else and we can ca call this add to cart list method here okay so yeah that's it now let's go and check the app so the app is running now successfully and uh, this one is working fine now also we need to go to the product details activity and here if I click on add to cart here you can see you can add more uh, I mean you can add or purchase more product once your order is verified by the company or you can say the admin so I mean yeah it is working fine this is uh, amazing this is perfect so now in the next video we will start work on the admin section and as I told you in the upcoming 5 or 6 video tutorials we will complete this app. So yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe. Don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram account by this username and take care of yourself and bye for now.